Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. Mesosaurus fossil campsite has been absolutely amazing. We were the only people here, so we had the entire place to ourselves. And it was so quiet and peaceful and the surroundings are really beautiful. There's like tons and tons of quiver trees and beautiful rock formations. And in the campsite itself, there are these massive sociable weaver nests in the trees. And you can watch them flying around, which is quite cool. It's a very basic campsite. There is a little ablution block with two showers. And they get hot water from a donkey boiler, which you have to light the fire yourself. But it's not difficult. You just light it and you need to wait for a while for it to heat up the water enough so that you can have a nice hot shower. And then there are two toilets as well. Other than that, that's it. There's no power or staff or anything like that. It's very much like a bush camp, which is exactly what we wanted. So if that's your kind of thing, then I definitely recommend checking out this Mesosaurus fossil place. There's also a little 4x4 route that we drove. It's not very technical at all, but you probably do need a car with high ground clearance and 4x4 to get through some sections of it. There's a nice little viewpoint as well, where you can kind of walk to the top of a hill and look out on the landscape all around. It's a family-run business, and the owner, Giel, he also does tours, which we're going to go on this morning to go and see the Mesosaurus fossils themselves and a music rock and specific quiver tree areas and that sort of thing. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, and when I open it, we can see there is the fossil inside. <gasps> this, this is the upper part of the tail. Wow. Okay, you see these dolerite rocks, they are very hard. Yes. And the cracks has no sand in between, so the tension in the rock makes the resonance. May I start? Please. Please. Okay. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more from me, then you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future, or you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past.